This patient is a 34-year-old female who has been brought for treatment on the course by one of the UK Implantology Year Course delegates. She had her upper left central incisor extracted just over a year ago and has since been wearing a partial denture. She does have quite a high lip line, so for this patient, the precise positioning of an implant is absolutely critical. A cone beam CT scan was taken of a patient and her dental casts and wax up were scanned in the laboratory using a Procera 2G scanner. We now open up Nobel Clinician and select new patient. The patient's name is typed in, which for our purposes, she is called Mrs. EC. And we look on the computer for the location of the CT scan. We will now edit down the area of view of the scan just to the areas that we are interested in viewing, which for this case is the upper maxillary arch. Editing down the scan allows the processor to deal with less information and hence allows your computer to run much more quickly. We now need to mask out from the viewable 3D image of the scan the areas which are interfering with our image. This may be starburst effects from crowns or amalgams or parts of the lower jaw in this case, such as the coronoid processes and the teeth. Once we are happy with our image, we can check it to make sure we haven't removed any areas which would interfere with our planning accidentally. You'll notice that this patient is wearing a composite temporary adhesive restoration in the upper left one region and we're going to use this to help us plan the case. What we're doing now is marking out this upper left one temporary restoration so that we can format it as a separate 3D object. The formatting can be checked using the preview window and once we're happy, go onto the main screen where we should be able to see the 3D object we have just formatted standing out separate to the patient's other teeth and bone. Changing the transparency of the bone using the menu bar at the top allows us to clearly see the tooth roots embedded within the alveolar process. We will now load the scans which were taken in the laboratory using the Procera scanner of the dental cast and of the wax up which the lab carried out for us. These are then loaded automatically into the software and the software will accurately overlay the scan of the cast as you can see here now showing the soft tissue onto the CT scan of the bone and teeth. The separate scan that the lab did of the wax up is now overlaid onto the other two objects and is illustrated in the blue color. This process now allows us to place an implant with incredible accuracy with regards to the adjacent teeth, to the shape and volume of bone, and most importantly for the patient with regards to the soft tissues, which will allow us the best achievable emergence profile and hence allow the margin of the crown to look as natural as is possible with dental implant work. The re-slice is now positioned accurately so that it represents the midline of the implant that we are planning to place. 
as you'll see as we adjust the reslice window on the left side using the 3D object, the window on our computer screen on the right side shows us the slice, the cross-sectional slice through the bone and the wax up tooth as well as showing us the outline of the soft tissues with the orange line which is corresponding to the cross-sectional window that we are positioning on the 3D object. We now select the implant that we are planning to place, which in this patient is a Nobel BioCare Conical Connect, and make the final finer adjustments using the pivoting circles and the movement box. What we're trying to achieve is an implant's position, which is in the most ideal location for soft tissue emergence aesthetics, and in the best position for maximum thickness of bone around the implant, in addition to sufficient clearance between the adjacent tooth roots. Whenever we make any adjustments to the angulation or bodily positioning of the implant on the right-hand side cross-sectional slice window, these adjustments are reflected in 3D on the left window in real time. Although when using the translucent imagery of the bone we can see the roots of the teeth within the alveolar process, for increased accuracy it's helpful to render these separately as three-dimensional objects in the same way that we did when we rendered the upper left composite temporary adhesive prosthesis. There's no need whatsoever to render the crowns of the teeth. We only need here to do this with the roots. The software will automatically detect the roots as we go up and down the axial slices and we just press the fill button as we hover the cursor over the root in question. Once we've rendered the adjacent roots into their three-dimensional objects, you'll notice that the implant I have placed has turned orange. This is an automatic warning system within the software telling me that the implant is too close to one of the rendered objects. And in this case, as we zoom in, you can see that the implant is too close to the upper left lateral incisor. Minor adjustments are now made in the 3D window on the left side until the implant no longer glows orange. Again, we check these adjustments are correct with respect to the prosthetic outcome that we are planning and with respect to the emergence profile of the implant abutment through the soft tissue. We now select create templates from the top menu bar and allow the software to automatically create the surgical drill guide that we will use during the flapless implant insertion procedure. The software has now automatically created a surgical template that fits over the teeth of the entire maxillary arch. It is this surgical template which we are going to use at surgery for both the drilling of the osteotomy hole and the placement of the implant using a flapless procedure. This drill guide will allow us to place the implant exactly where we have planned it on the computer. The drill guide is ordered electronically within the software by selecting the top menu button product. This is now transmitted to the Nobel BioCare production unit where the surgical guide is produced using the latest 3D printing technology. As well as ordering the guide, 
We can also use this page to order our implants, any drills we may require, or any other surgical components. In about a week's time, we will receive the surgical guide in the post, and this will then be ready for the surgical placement of the implant into the patient. The delegates whose patient this is will be carrying out the flapless surgery in November on the UK Implantology Year Course. If you visit this page on our website, you'll be able to download this entire Novo Clinician workup using free software on your Mac or PC, such as Nobel Clinician Viewer, or using the iPad app, which is also free Nobel Communicator. In late November, the video of the surgery will be placed onto the website, so you will be able to follow this case all the way through from initial planning to final fit.